So bye everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about a slider. A lot of times I try to take a really good b-roll footage and one of my main challenges is the ability to have a slider that will work in the situations that I want. Not only that, an inexpensive one that actually is motorized. So I was able to find this one on Amazon. It's under 70 bucks and not only is it motorized, it's extremely portable. So let's go ahead and check it out. We have a pretty bland box. There's no real big description on it other than this little barcode. Uh, this box or actually this unit has been sold under other names. So just if it looks pretty much the same where you're looking at it on Amazon, it's, it is pretty much and it'll do the exact same thing. The accessories that come with it may not be the exact same ones, but I'll give you guys a link in the description below. Uh, we're greeted directly with the manual, which pretty much just explains how to use this unit, but it does actually mention that at least we can use a DSLR. And as long as you're not going too high up, the balancing would be very nice. And you'll notice it's kind of centered and it will do those pan shots that you're looking for. And it explains what comes in the box, of course. Put this on the side. Here is the actual motorized slider. They call it a slider. I call it, you know, obviously this is a uh, motorized. Let's go ahead and fix it here. Here you go. You'll see there's the two main wheels. These are non-motorized, and this is where the motorized wheel is. Uh, it is adjustable, so you can go up and down depending on how you want to make that circular position. If you're going straight, that's going to be pretty much self-explanatory. There is a cap here on the top, and this cap is where you put in the battery. Just I want to mention to you guys real quick, the battery direction or the direction of the way your battery is put in will dictate which direction the slider will go. Meaning, if I put it in with the positive end up and you notice that it's spinning this way. You can see the little uh, screw hole right here. It's spinning in this direction. And then there's an on and off switch right here. And it'll start spinning the other direction. So that's gonna be about the only thing you need to be aware of. Just understand which direction you wanna slide or actually have your pan shots going and set it up and put in the battery in the right position. And then you have that little power on and off. Uh, these gaskets are removable. So you can basically, if they wear out and they're not working anymore, you can buy replacement ones. I'm pretty sure you can get it from an app, any kind of local hardware store. My only recommendation would be is if you're going to buy one for one, make sure you buy the same one for all three. You notice the one in the back actually did already come out and let's go ahead and fix it. So make sure you get the same one for all three so that you can get the same level. Uh, they do provide us an extra one with uh, an Allen wrench and this is the mobile device connector. There's a bottom and a back one to be able to connect with it. Uh, this is going to be the interface. So if we want to mount a three and a half millimeter, well, this is basically a standard uh, tripod mount so you can mount your camera you can mount this you'll be able to uh, mount your mobile device and then take pictures with that very very nice last thing i want to mention is they do also include an adjustable head so we can use this in conjunction with this little tip um, and then it'll work fine this is me talking directly to this camera we're doing a great pan shot so you notice it's actually moving as i'm talking to you guys um, you can definitely do use this for like different point of views different perspectives of course this wasn't the only shots that i was able to take with this i'm going to show you guys a couple more examples of how you can use this in different environments um, definitely very very nice very flexible i hope you guys like the footage and you could see the potential that what you can do with this slider i like the fact that it's small it's portable it's battery powered we don't have bad we don't have uh, speed control that's one thing that we don't have obviously under 70 bucks we can't ask for that much but the one thing that you can do depending on the frame rate that you're, sh you're shooting your video with you can actually reduce the speed or increase the speed in post so not that bad as far as the configuration and specifically since this is going to be for short burst shots b-roll shots mostly this is going to actually do the job uh, be aware that there is some sound from it so whatever camera you're using from this do not use that camera as your audio source uh, have some type of other audio source either directly on your subject or use an external boom mic or something to the effect that will give you that additional audio that's if you're doing uh, like you're doing it let's say an interview with somebody and you're doing a pan shot in the middle of that interview that's just one thing you want to be aware of uh, but other than that, it's very nice, it's small, it's compact, and it is uh, definitely travel size. Um, I like the way it's set up. I like to actually use this directly with my RX-100 RX Mark IV. Um, it's very, very good. And you can actually even mount your own DSLR camera. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video.